Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my March and April favourites. So first up with beauty, I've got three different makeup face products. The first one I'm barely even going to bother talking about, the Collection 2000 Concealer. I used to use it years ago, I've been trying loads of other ones and I've finally gone back to it. There's a reason everybody loves it, it's awesome, end of story. Then on the opposite side of the spectrum, a new product is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. It's a matte foundation, which I love because I'm really into matte skin. My skin's a little bit oily, so I like to have a matte foundation. This stuff is really, really good. I've just done a blog post um, reviewing me using it in Egypt in 40 degrees heat. It survived. It's amazing. It's very, very... Um, light feeling it's very thin to wear whereas matte foundations can be really gluey but it goes on really thin and light but it's super matte very much enjoying this and then third i actually got this at a car boot sale it's the top shop glow highlighter it's a cream highlighter um and i really really like it i use the tiniest tiniest bit i've got a little bit on today um I like to have a matte foundation and then just add a little bit of glow along my cheekbones, along underneath my eyebrows and my nose. Um, and this is perfect for that. At first when I bought it I thought it was an eyeshadow. Makes a terrible eyeshadow. I put it on, it creased almost immediately and I was like, this sucks, I wish I hadn't bought it, even though it was only a pound in a car boot sale. Um, but then when I realised it was a highlighter, um, I totally love it because it can't crease on your cheeks and you only use a tiny bit. So yeah, I'd really, really recommend that. It's also good just in the corner of your eye for a little bit of a glow. Next up for hair, first of all is my Denman hairbrush. Um, this is the Porcupine one. Um, I did have a Denman brush before that I got sent for my blog about four or five years ago. I used it every single day and eventually the whole head snapped off. Um, so I contacted Denman to see if they would send me another one because the original one was a press sample and they kindly did. And I've just run a competition on my blog giving away a whole bunch of the rest of their collection. So go along and check out their brushes, but this is my absolute favourite. It's not sponsored, but they did send it to me for free and I absolutely love it. And then my other hair product is the Casting Sunquist Jelly. This stuff is by L'Oreal and it's basically, you know how you can lighten your hair um, in the sun with lemon juice? It's basically like really fancy lemon juice. So it's this gel that you put in your roots or wherever you want to lighten all your whole hair and then you can either blow dry it if you're not living somewhere sunny and it like the heat kind of uh, lightens up your roots or you can wear it actually in the sun so on my holiday to Egypt I used this um, I've had my hair bleached and I'm trying to kind of grow it out I've had it dyed back to almost my natural color but still my roots are coming through a bit darker and I think that's mainly because my hair is normally in the sun so my roots how it had any sun and normally that's fine because it kind of ombres through where this has had more sun than this and this and this but right now just the roots are really dark um so they need a bit of sun so i put this in on one day the only problem with it is is it makes your hair a bit skank <laughs> if you blow dry it it's fine your hair goes totally normal but if you put it on as a gel um after you've washed your hair which is what you're supposed to do and wear it in the sun then it is a bit like greasy or a bit um kind of hard like cracky um but because i was on holiday just sunbathing i was like it's fine so i put a ton of it on just all through all my roots and then lay in the sun and in one day my hair just bleached blonde it was so impressive it's gone a little bit brassy but i'm using my purple shampoo on it so it's absolutely fine and i would really really rate this stuff this bottle is gonna last me my whole life because you hardly need any and i only used it one day on holiday um, next for nails are these L'Oreal nail polishes. They've got this really cool like quilted bottle design. They're brand new out. I bought them because Amelia Liliana recommended them um, and I really really like the colours. I've gone for these three first like a dark purple, a red which I'm wearing today and also a peachy coral. She said they hardly hardly chip so I've just put them on so far and no chip so far but it's only been a couple of days so I'll see how they go but I just really really liked the colours and the packaging so I thought I'd throw them in for you and the final piece of beauty if you can call it that is a toothbrush um, I have an electric toothbrush that I use day to day but I really wanted a handbag one for like when you've had lunch at work and it was a bit on your knee and you just feel like you kind of want to clean your teeth so it's a little fold up one um, so I mean it's not going to stay super clean but I think I might put it in its own separate little pouch inside my handbag um, and just as like an emergency I got this in Primark both sets together for I think a pound, maybe one pound fifty, um, and I just think that's going to be super, super handy to help with me. So I'd recommend picking up one of these. 
So next on to books, I've got two. The first one is my one line a day diary. I have been absolutely loving this. It's a five year diary. So on each day you fill in like this year for the 29th of April and then the next year, the next year, the next year. So eventually you'll have five years of the 29th of April all on one page, which I think is so fun. I can't wait to see what I'm doing in five years and how much my life has changed. And it's nice because you only fill in such a small amount you're really only supposed to write one sentence, but I tend to cram in as much as I can. But it means that you're much more likely to keep doing it because you don't have to fill in a whole page every day and you just end up procrastinating it and feeling guilty. So it's just a tiny amount and I've been absolutely loving this. I'm just praying I don't lose it before the five years is up. And the other book which I read while I was on holiday is How To Be A Woman by Caitlin Moran. This book is an absolute must read. I love it. It's a really easy read, very fun, entertaining, quite quick. You know, the font's reasonably big, it's not going to take you long. I picked it up in a charity shop for a pound from All Aboard, which is on Finchley Road. They're a really good charity. Um, I've actually done a lookbook with them, which I will link to below because it's really awesome. They um, invited me to try on a bunch of their clothes and match the current trends. Um, but this book is all about feminism, but for like the modern woman. She does it in a very funny way. She is a comedic writer. Um, and it's about things like why strip clubs are wrong, but pole dancing classes are okay. And all those things that I naturally agree with, but I couldn't really justify in an argument. She justifies and explains why you feel that way and why that is the case and where feminism should be moving from now on. She's really honest. She talks about how she was glad about her abortion and all these like hard-hitting topics that no one will discuss she's really upfront about very rational also very amusing and i'd highly recommend it next on to fashion probably my number one favorite of this whole two months has been my key australia sunglasses i adore these whenever i wear them i want to just take a million selfies and post them all on instagram so i'm being very restrained with only posting like two so far on Instagram of key selfies um, but I absolutely love them. They were £30 although um, I got them on ASOS for 27 because you get 10% off with the student card um, which for me was obviously quite a lot of money. Everything I buy normally costs like £2 but first of all they look like they cost hundreds because they look amazing designer style and also I've really noticed the lens quality is much better um, everything's much more crisp I'm sure it's protecting my eyes much better now when I put on a really cheap pair of sunglasses I can see that it's kind of all hazy and I already wear glasses anyway so I think it's not very good for my eyes to be straining like that so I would really recommend investing in a slightly more expensive pair of sunglasses even if you don't go full designer just so that it's better for your eyes and I mean they're so gorgeous how could you not buy and then my other fashion item that I've been loving is dungarees. Um, these are not going to show up on camera because they're so long, obviously, because they're dungarees. But I've got two pairs. I've got this black pair, which has um, like ripped up legs, which is originally from Boohoo, but I got it in a car boot sale, brand new with tags for £2. Um, I went to the Holloway car boot sale up in North London. Um, it was a really good one. I will probably do a review on it. But yeah, I've been absolutely loving dungarees. They're so good for day to night. This pair I wore with a high neck polo underneath and then for night I changed into a crop top and went to a house party. Um, you can wear them with flats, with boots, with trainers, with heels. I absolutely love them. So definitely fully into dungarees trend. If you haven't got any yet, embrace it and dress like a five year old. One quick food favorite has been cream eggs. Um, Easter has obviously been during these couple of months and cream eggs are my favorite time of year. I love it even more than Christmas because these are just the best. Um, and then obviously everyone reduces them. So I got a bunch um, in the like post Easter sales as well. I I eat way more of these than I'm willing to admit. And then a couple of um, little tech things. I have been listening to loads of podcasts recently and two that I would highly recommend are No Such Thing as a Fish, which is the writers of QI. They do like a comedy fact podcast, which is really, really funny. Just lots of stupid facts that you would never believe um, on there. That's really good. And then also Control Alt Delete, which is Emma Gannon, who's a blogger, writer, social media extraordinaire, inspirational woman. Um, she has got a podcast where she speaks to amazing women in tech. She did an interview with Zoella um, and her podcast is really, really good. I'd highly recommend it. I went to an event she was hosting last week and it was amazing. Everyone there was so inspirational. So I'd really recommend her podcast. And then aside from podcasts, um, I would really recommend the software Unroll Me. Um, and what it does is it moves all your subscriptions from your email, things like 
refinery 29 flight deals all this kind of stuff that you subscribe to and it puts them in one email a day because actually stuff like that it's not really spam i don't want to unsubscribe from it but i don't want it interrupting me all day like pinging into my email box so it gives you a page of all your subscriptions you can either unsubscribe move it to your daily summary or keep it in your inbox if it is something that you want instant alerts on and i absolutely love it it has changed the way i use my email and my final favorite a bit of a big one but has to be london um i've been living here these past two months and it's been really really fantastic um seeing all my friends from uni and from school who are living here at the moment just trying to connect with people going to a bunch of networking events seeing some amazing charity shops and car boot sales Please comment below if you want me to do a summary of the best London charity shops or the best London car boot sales. I'm thinking of doing blog posts on them, but if you would like a video as well or instead, then let me know in the comments down below. But it's been really, really fun. We've been living just off of Brick Lane. We got really lucky with um, a room in a flat that our friend owns, and it's been really fun, like spending time with Ed, getting to be in central London, enjoying all the bars of East London. So yeah, well done London, you have impressed us. And next we're going to be going um, back home to Dorset but in and out. I'm going to be doing travel vlogs of my trips this summer to America, Canada, Malta and Italy. So keep an eye out for those. So that is it for my March and April favourites. I really hope you guys have had an amazing spring. I bet you cannot wait for summer. I really, really appreciate you watching. Please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe. It means the world to me every time I get a new email saying I've had a subscriber. And I will see you again in my next video on Tuesday. Have a good week. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my January and February favourites. So starting off with makeup, I've got two makeup pieces. The first one is the Revlon 24 hour